In this video I will give you some tips and tricks around my flying wing conversion of a Lidl glider. The 2019 Lidl glider conversion hype is in full swing and many of you might have some new ones in stock waiting for their RC conversion. I've already done three mods, one with a classic layout flying wing and an A10. Currently I receive a lot of comments for my little devil. In this video I want to give you answers to some frequently asked questions and also some additional tips and tricks to help you build it. First of all, the center of gravity. It should be located at 35 mm from the leading edge. In my case I was able to achieve it without adding balance weight. But this mainly depends on the weight of your motor and your battery. Electronics The motor is a Graupner Ultra 2812 with 1200 kV and it comes at 53 g. The controller is a Graupner Brushless Control Plus T80. It can handle up to 18 amps. It's got a weight of 16 grams. My battery is a Graupner 3S 1600. It weighs 158 grams. The receiver is a Graupner GR12 Hot with 8 grams. The two servos are Emacs ES08D2 with 9 grams each. Reflex. On a flying wing, you don't have a horizontal stabilizer to counteract the nose-down pitching moment created by the wing. There are several ways to stabilize a flying wing, but as we can't change anything on the airfoil, the only way is to add a reflex by setting both ailerons in an up position. After several attempts, I found 12 degrees up as a well-working position. Motor thrust angle. In order to keep the plane from pitching up or down when power is applied, you need to properly set the thrust angle. The position that worked best on my one is 4 degrees against the underside of the wing. I didn't add any side thrust angle. With my double firewall design, you can adjust the thrust angle by adding or removing nuts or washers. Firewall reinforcement. On one of my landings, and it was one of the better ones, the prop got into contact with the ground and ripped off the motor including the firewall. Therefore I strongly recommend putting some fiberglass reinforced packing tape around the firewall and the fuselage. Transmitter setup. Now let's check the setup of the ailerons, which are actually working as elevons, a mix of elevator and ailerons. For this, you need to use a Delta Mix setup in your transmitter. Both control surfaces, up or down, will give you the elevator function. Both elevons in different direction will give you control around the longitudinal axis. Throws and Expo. For the elevator function, I use 6mm up and also 6mm down. The same for the aileron function, 6mm up and 6 mm down. It is helpful to use Expo on both elevator and aileron function. My settings are 75% for ailerons and 65% for elevator. Free plan. Most of this info can also be found on the free plan. You will find the link in the description of this video or of the Lidl Devil build video. Hand launching. One tricky topic is launching the Little Devil. With the prop in the back, I'm quite afraid of hurting my hand when launching with the motor spinning. Therefore, I hand launch it without power and then slowly add power once it's in the air. Simple plan, but there are many things that can go wrong. And they did go wrong. So 
So here are my top 5 tips for launching. 1. Give it a very strong toss to avoid stalling or hitting the ground before adding power. 2. Preferably fly on a day with a fair amount of wind and launch directly into the wind. 3. Fly on a hill or at a slope. This will give you more margin before hitting the ground. 4. Ask a friend to launch it for you, so you have your hands at the controls from the beginning. 5. Don't apply too much power right after the launch, or the motor torque will rip your little devil out of the sky. Storage Last but not least, my final tip. If your workshop is full of planes just like mine, there is an easy way to store your little devil. Just hang it to the wall with a rope around the prop. This is easy to attach and remove, and saves a lot of space. I hope this answers the questions you might have when building the Little Devil. In case I missed any relevant info, just leave a comment below. I hope you liked this video. If yes, give me a like and subscribe to my channel, so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching Bavarian RC.